What's up, guys? I don't know if you knew this, but it's actually Trans Awareness Week this week. Woo! Which is interesting because, you know, Mike Pence is our vice president now, but... Well, more than ever, we need trans awareness. Though. I know, I think so. Transgender YouTube star Gigi Gorgeous hosted a LGBTQ uh, brunch where she invited some prominent influencers within this community, and they hosted, uh, they, they got a bunch of questions and they answered them, and we're gonna take a look at that. Hey guys, it's Gigi, welcome back to my channel. So today marks the first day of Transgender Awareness Week. I thought I would do something a little bit different and invite you guys over to my house. We are gonna be talking about LGBTQ issues and having some fun while doing it. I touch on my journey a little bit in my documentary coming out early next year. But as for right now, let's go upstairs. There's a little surprise waiting for you. I invited a bunch of people from the LGBTQ community here today for brunch at my house. We are going to be popping some champagne because every great day needs to start with champagne. Holla. Holla. Yeah, as you can see, it's uh, funny at times and it gets emotional at other times. You guys should definitely check out the whole nine minute video. It's really cool and really interesting. So some of the prominent figures there is uh, press secretary for the human rights campaign, Sarah McBride. We have gay YouTuber Kingsley. We have reality TV show personality, EJ Johnson and international trans model, Andreja Pejic. Pejic, I don't know how to say that last name. I, I definitely messed that up. But it's really cool. So one of the questions that they asked, Grace, that I want to ask you as well. When was the first time you realized you might be a lesbian? Um, I might be a little gay. Um, hey, probably, uh, I, I, I don't know. I think looking back, I knew pretty early on because when I would try and play house, in like kindergarten and whatnot, I always wanted to be the husband. Uh, so I, I think I kind of knew early on, but I do remember um, when I first like had feelings for a girl was at like a sleepover uh, when I was in like I think seventh grade or something, and I just remember like looking at her, this person, distinctively different. Um, but I, I want to talk a little bit about uh, what, what they're doing is they're, they're promoting a trans awareness, which is a, a community of which I'm not a part of, but I think it's really cool to see all members of the LGBTQ community coming together and recognizing that we, we still have a lot of work to go with regards to trans advocacy. Trans. But I think it's super important that uh, when we have these discussions about uh, trans rights or um, I mean, gay rights also is that we that we are inclusive in these discussions and that we are reaching out to other members, especially of our own community, because, oh man, I'm about to use the Hillary Clinton slogan, but we are stronger together. Does he, I know, I know, I know he's not a Hillary <laughs> fan, but it's true, we really are as a community, and I think sometimes there's a little bit of isolationists. So, for example, we've talked before on the show about biphobia, so there are members of the LGBTQ community. I have been guilty of this myself, uh, where you just sort of disregard people that identify as bisexual. That's not okay. We're still lacking a little bit of compassion and understanding and education on uh, trans people. Specifically, trans people of color get the short end of the stick. And so I think that it is important uh, that we that we do talk about this as a community and also like we have our allies talk about it and what we can do to just promote awareness. That, that's the least that you can do because the, the to combat ignorance, which is what we see when, when stupid legislation like HB2 is passed, um, we need to combat ignorance with education. And the way to do that is just by sitting down and being able to ask questions and getting things wrong. Um, and, and by the way, from you that. bring up a really good, you bring up a really good point. Now, um, I always say that uh, lack of knowledge is excusable, ignorance isn't. So when people come up to you, and if you're a, uh, if you're a member of the LGBTQ community, if you're trans, lesbian, bi, gay, if a member, if a cisgender person, like myself, for example, comes up to you and they are asking you questions, not, they're, they're not always going to be asking you questions in a demeaning way. They're not trying to, like they, they could very well be trying to understand. Mm -hmm. So always take that opportunity to try to explain the, the struggles that you go through or that you're a normal person. You know what I mean? Because a lot of people, because yeah. a lot of people, like, I, I, it's not a problem for me. I understand that. But a lot of people don't. Or a lot explain of people don't see why, it. or explain if you are asked a question, uh, 
explain why the question was inappropriate or might maybe was offensive to you. Like this hurt me because of this. I I know because I don't I, know. I just always well, think I that have... it's like the turn the other. It's easy for me to say I know because I'm privileged to be cisgendered and and a and a white male. Like I understand that, but um, but what I mean is what I mean is right now more than ever, we we must turn the other cheek. Whenever there's one and 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 try with all of our might as a community, because there are certain things that I hear as well as, uh, as a Muslim that also would normally, uh, should normally offend me, but I always take the time out and try to explain that no, ISIS does not represent all Muslims' beliefs, right. or um, there, are su there is such a thing as progressive Muslims in this world, or uh, assimilation and, and adopting certain values within Western culture is a pretty solid way of unifying and, and, and living comfortably and peacefully together. And it's the same with that, where it's like, I, it, I mean, it, it upsets me when I hear uh, things like that as well, but I, I usually can just just yeah, push it I, down as much as I can, and I know it's way worse when um, you're kind of wearing it on your sleeve, and 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 you've been discriminated against your entire life, and uh, I, so I I I, I totally do you see do. the point I, I'm trying to make. Yeah, though? I definitely do. Like, but I, but you know, I, I I do hear from uh, trans people. I know that sometimes they feel like it's this burden they didn't ask for to be Google to be trans Google for their friends. So that's why I think that what Gigi did is so really great and really effective is because if people have questions, that it, it really shouldn't be the burden of just a of a non-public figure, a non-educator who is just a trans person to educate someone that is not in their immediate circle of friends. You know what I mean? Like, I understand maybe you feel differently if it's your family, if it's your close friends, but people on the street, if they come up to you and they ask you a question, that's not, you're, you don't have to, you don't have to educate them. Like, you can refer them to awesome videos like this if they want to learn more. I understand why, if a trans person or if anyone in the LGBT community doesn't want to be a, a, a source of uh, educational material for someone who is ignorant to um, their uh, their life already. But I also understand if you want to put yourself out there and you want to be like, hey, ask me a question, I'm here for you. I just think we have to respect both sides of it because I know that when I was coming to terms with my gender expression and sexuality, which is of course super diminished with regards to uh, actually um, being, you know, not cis, um, I would be really uncomfortable if someone would be like, so like, do you, like, you want to look more like a guy? Like, you know, I might not want to answer those questions wherever I was on my journey, and I think we just have to respect that people might not want to. But at but this if people point, to, it's not difficult awesome for too. you to explain it, right? What, like, what I'm saying is, through our friendship, for example, I have learned so much more than I would just by reading up on it, just by mm -hmm. taking a gender studies class, for example, which I did in college, and I didn't really understand it, until I had this relationship with yeah. you. And what I'm trying to say is, and that's, that's I, I truly believe in inclusion and I feel like that is, a, is the best way to combat racism. That's the best way to combat bigotry towards the LGBTQ community. And what I'm asking for is a big ask. I get it, like your entire life you've been discriminated against. But what I'm saying is from, uh, like when you have, when you've experienced this discrimination and someone comes up to you and, and asks you a question, try as hard as you can to welcome them and to explain them or even tell them like that you can get this information here, like point them in the right direction, I, even if it's really difficult because that person is taking the first step in trying to understand it better. And maybe if you guys become friends and then possibly they could even be more understanding of that community. Yeah, and I mean, I'm not saying like I wasn't, I always was, but I, I got a better, I, I, I now have a much better understanding of it through our friendship and through um, you know hearing your personal experience. Yeah, I, I think when it comes to Trans Awareness Week, what we, we as long as we move forward, everyone, uh, whatever, wherever your journey, whatever your journey you're on, as long as we move forward with respect, with mutual respect for one another, and uh, with the desire to educate our ignorance so we can eliminate ignorance, I think that we can only succeed. But we have to succeed together as a community, and that's what I, I hope we can start talking about um, with tra Trans Awareness Week. And I hope that more people um, 
get involved and, and learn more. And we're going to have to really be there for each other over the next, you know, at least two, four years. You know, two because of the midterm elections and four because of God, we're, the apocalypse is for the next four years. So <laughs> It's a slow burn, the apocalypse, but we want to hear from you guys. <laughs> if you're a member of the LGBT community, if you're not a member... Um, share some of your experiences in the comment section below. Tell us about a time where maybe you fielded the question and then you developed a relationship or you got a better understanding of something that happened. Or if you're, uh, if you're trans, please, if you would like to disclose some of your experiences in the comment section below. We read all of your comments. We love that. And uh, I'm Asan Piker. This is Grace Baldridge. And we'll see you next time on Pop Trigger. <laughs>